Yo, what's up, everybody? Wyatt Hurts here, back. No, no. You all say it with me. You can all say it with me here this time. We'll say it together, people. But you, I know y'all love hearing this at the start of these videos. Don't deny it now, and don't lie to yourself. All right, everybody ready? <laughs> what's up, guys? Wyatt Hurts here, back with a little more home front action from the on live game service. There we go. As a group, as a community, we intro to this video one time only. Uh, so let's take a look and see what I'm playing. It is some Borderlands, some Team Deathmatch, some Battle Commander. The M16 is out. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, I will get into the kit here shortly. This round is a bit of a blast from the past. We're going all the way back to June 19th, 2013. That's when this round was first recorded or captured. And, uh, you know what? I haven't been on Homefront much lately, so I've been digging into my hard drive for some older videos to get them up on the channel and release some content. The truth is, I've been out moonlighting. I've <laughs> been out moonlighting with another shooter, gentlemen. I know, I know, it's hard to hear, but uh, it's the truth. I've got a lot of hours on Homefront, I have a lot of content up on the channel, and I do need a break from it, you know. And I've been enjoying this other shooter, and I'll keep it a surprise for now. It is a big one. Uh, it's been out for a while, too. Um, but uh, I, I may try and get some footage of it up on the channel soon when I get the new PC in here. So let's get into the action, take a look at it, and then I want to get into this kit I have together. Amy IP rolling around the corner in, an, in a heavy armor. And uh, I got a little lucky there. I don't have Blast Wave in the infantry abilities. And I got a little lucky scrapping that tank with the, uh, with the C4 because it was leading the target a little bit. Amy, or Amy IP, was uh, backing up off of it. So like I said, a little lucky that I actually managed to scrap the tank there. Now looking at the M16, I had initially, th this was, like I said, it's three weeks old. And this was when I first put the M16 back into my loadout lineup. And I was trying to get creative, trying to mix the kit up a little bit. And uh, threw the silencer on here with steady aim, quick draw, attack, reload, and ghost. And you know what? I don't recommend this kit. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it for a lot of reasons. Number one, the silencer. When you're firing this gun, listen how loud this thing is. An aware player who, who really pays attention to the sounds of war as they're raging around will be able to pinpoint me, my location no problem with uh, how loud this gun still fires, you know. Uh, despite the fact that I won't be on radar with the suppressor or the, and with the ghost in there, you know. So it's still pretty loud, and I don't like having the silencer on there and having to aim down iron sights. Uh, I like having using this gun at the longer ranges. You know, some guys can use this weapon with the iron sights at the longer ranges. I'm not, I'm not one of those guys that's comfortable like that. Now right here, there's a perfect example of awareness. I heard the footsteps rolling in, wasn't expecting two of them, and just got lucky with that blade on heavy metal, I think. Now right here, this is DJ Stack Bodies leading me on a merry chase around this air conditioning unit. I get a nice uh, explosive perimeter down. He throws one down of his own, and then some nice patience there displayed by me in that exchange you know waited I, I, once I saw his C4 come out I knew he was gonna have to circle back around through mine and I knew I was pretty well guaranteed to get the kill at that point um, and that right there that's my only one and only kill with the M16 this round on Tizza up across the street up on the rooftop so not a great performance with the weapon you can see why I'm not recommending it um, but uh, Robert, up in an unusual location up there on the plaza rooftop, does put me down. Wasn't expecting anybody over there. I was coming back for some revenge, but you saw the hellfire take him out. That was Roses bringing the pain, bringing the rain from the skies there with his hellfires. And uh, But I did manage to. I didn't get my revenge on Robert. However, I did find Henry, Ninja Henry, lurking up there. And uh, managed to uh, to put him down, get him off of that kind of that real advantageous position where you don't expect a lot of guys to be. But that missile lock coming in, that's actually Henry coming right back in here in an LAV, looking for some revenge. Really, uh, you see behind you, circling the skies as well. He does take a little damage from Henry's LAV right there. There it is, uh, and he will be grounded here shortly. Now, as I circle around, do I get the spot in? I can't remember. I think I try spotting him for the team. Not sure if I'm successful with it or not, though. Uh, but I start doing a little bit of damage, and with Henry Fallen, uh, sorry, with uh, with Behind You Fallen, he, I think he does focus on Henry's LAV as well, looking for some revenge. Now let's go back to the L or to the, uh, the M16 kit here for a second. Like I said, I like using the M16 at those longer ranges. I like having the clarity that the ACOG provides, and I, uh, you know what, with the silencer in there, you're also losing a little bit of damage per round. So it's going to take one or two extra rounds to finish off those targets, you know. 
and uh, I just don't like it. I, d I didn't like it. Maybe if I'd used it a bit more, I would have enjoyed it more. Again, I'm I'm not a big fan of aiming down the iron sights because I'm playing on a computer monitor. It's a little bit easier when you're using, you know, when you're on a big screen TV or, or a larger TV, right? But with a computer monitor, I find it a little bit more difficult to actually line up some of those shots with the iron sights. So, like I said, we'll wrap this up. Not a big fan of, uh, of that loadout I had, and I have gone back to my old standard M16 loadout, as you've seen in, in other videos that have released this week, you know, within the past week and a half. Anyway, you see, uh, you saw me take out Tizza, who was putting a little fire both my way and Manblock's way, who was circling the skies in that Apache, or Chimera. <clears throat> and uh, Manblock, forced to bail, just crashes into the rooftop, uh, the Hooters rooftop, and bails onto the rooftop, and uh, was looking to go and take down Tizza, but I'd already done the job for him. Now, right here, some great flying as the match is winding down. A great little ascension. Really cutting it close on that building. Just made my clearance in time as I made that circling pass around the infantry that were uh, that were down in that parking lot. And the round does end. So a pretty solid game. A really dominating performance for my team in particular there. A 17-1. and one, So great numbers considering I only got one kill with that bloody gun. You know, I did some good scout work, which I'm known for. Uh, some good grenade, a few good grenade kills, I think. And a good C4 kills and a little bit of knife work when the pressure was really coming my way. Uh, but like I said, I cannot recommend that uh, that M16 loadout. Not my style, not not what I prefer. From a gun like that, I guess is what I'm looking to say. Uh, where it's uh, really strong at the longer ranges, I would rather have the proper gear on that weapon that, may, that uh, plays to those longer ranges, and the silencer just doesn't do that. So anyway, let's take a look at C. Look at some numbers here. As I said, 17 and 1 for me, but really not comparing to the big numbers in the room today. 22 and 4 for skill 92, leading the leading both the team and the room. Uh, so great numbers there. Spotlight player, skill 92, going down below me, behind you, 13 and 5, who was wanting to be in a couple videos, who. Uh, who, who felt he wasn't getting the attention he deserved, right? So there you go, sir. Another video, and we even saw you circling the skies a little bit in the scout. Uh, Silver Crystal there, 12 and 6. Man Block, 8 and 1. Hall of Fame Kid, 6 and 2. And really, things start to fall off right there at Roses, who got that great Hellfire strike on on the plaza rooftop, taking out uh, Robert. It would have been nice if Roses had gotten in there a little bit sooner before uh, Robert had managed to take me down, but uh, decent numbers there with the 6 and 4. Respectable, anyway. Uh, on the other side, T Comics there, 17 and 9. Amy IP, 9 and 8. Robert there, who had that great kill on me from that location, as I said, 6 and 7, and that's really about it over there. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, if you did enjoy the video please do leave a like or a comment uh subscribe to the channel and uh, and help spread the word um all of it is appreciated all of it helps and until next time remember why it hurts later on